Okay, so, um, I know, uh, Mr. John Deere 3720 mentioned me in his Polaris website sucks video. And he was talking about me and how I, how me and my mom were talking about, uh, why he has such a big Morris. Did this, I know it's not cold out, but it keeps the sun out of my eyes. Um, but he said that, uh, he has a lot of more you're doing. He said something about, like, uh, how big of a more I use and, uh, how big my yard is. This is part of my yard here. I don't own the house. My parents own the house. But we got this. There's a farm over there. And he said about me having a farm. This is an old dump truck just sitting there. Sewer thing. At least we don't have to pump it out as much as uh he does, Mr. John Deere 3720. I know I said no one knows his real name. I'd like to know his real name. Then I wouldn't have to keep saying Mr. John Deere 3720 because it's too much to say. But uh, here we have a mound system, and I should say that because I got another couple more ranting videos to do. This video is going to be this and a rant. So. Yeah, but here's back of my house. Got a patio here. We'll sit out there at a table. We have parties. We just put the table down in the basement. It's like a cellar. Can, there's barely enough room for me to stand up in there. And this is the rest of the yard. This is where me and my dad shoot our balls. But I'll shoot my boss, Mr. Cito, even though he hasn't been shot his ball in a while. So. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna, I'll show you how much mowing I have to do and the mower is any of mine. I'm gonna go show you my grandma's yard. I think out of three yards I mow, um, my, my yard's probably the smallest. I might do more mowing than he does. I don't do too much mowing at the farm, but I mow it once in a while at the farm. I'll go over there and I'll make the rent and just I'll be right back. Okay, we're rolling, I uh, think, yep. So, I was just visiting with my grandpa. I was gonna come over here anyway, and I know my mom was telling me to come over here. But I was coming over here anyway to show this stuff. Show this stuff quick, and then I'll do my rant. But, uh, and my grandpa might not live much longer. Um, she wanted me to ask if I was gonna be a pallbearer or whatever it is, walk along with the casket. Not that I want to do that, because I don't want to be, like, with a dead body or something, even though I've never saw a dead body and I want to see one, which is weird. And I, I know it's wrong to take pictures of a dead body, which I know her dad, and what's probably even worse is taking a selfie with a dead body. So, yeah, but my grandpa is 82 years old, and he has Parkinson's, so... If it weren't for modern technology, he'd be gone. He'd be long gone. But, actually, I'll get off and show him over here. This is a John Deere LT190. It's only got front wheel steering. Yeah, Mr. John Deere 3720, if you're watching this. I don't remember if you're wanting more, it's diesel or gas, but this one's gas. This thing, it's not power steering. I'm turning it right now. And it's not four wheel steer, obviously. And it doesn't have a hydraulic raising and lowering deck here. Yeah, it's an LT190. And one thing I don't know, and I'm thinking I can't, is put a quick hitch on the front. I don't think you can do that. Um, uh, it don't look like it. Probably not. But it's an LT190. Doesn't have those two remote things or whatever. Probably can't put a 3 point hitch or 540 PTO on here. But, uh, this is for the deck. I'm making a video. Uh -oh. Then you just All right. okay, that's fine. And then you just put flip. Uh, that was my aunt, by the way. Just uh, push that little thing down right there. I think up is that. I think that's down, and then that dial right there, just the height of it. And this is a brake. 
basic hydrostatic transmission. So I'm just gonna show my grandma's lawn, then I'm gonna go over to the farm, show the lawn over there, and I'll start the rant. So here's the lawn. There's my house over there. Got all of this in the front. Before this used to be where I'd ride my four-wheeler when I was a kid. And before that, my aunt that was here, she had horses there. So that was before my grandma moved here, which was like in 07 or something like that. But this is the lawn here. I'm done mowing for the year, pretty much. Even though I mow this lawn and my lawn pretty regularly. And that mower, that's my grandma's. But we got this back here. Walk around. I probably do have more mowing to do than uh, Mr. John Year 3720. Yeah, if you're watching this, I probably do do more more mowing than you. Oops, I just dropped my phone. Oh no! But here we go. This is the back side of the house. I know my grandma didn't want me showing your house on film, and I think I'll just respect that. But, uh, here's the thing here. Try not to show our house, because apparently, I know I made a video of me more than one, I didn't show, show the whole house. She doesn't want me showing the house on film, and I'll respect that. But, then we have this over here. So, there, that's so I wouldn't show the house. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over to the farm, show the lawn over there, and I think, all oh, these three lawns, mine's probably the smallest. I don't know how big these are in acres. I'd say this thing's maybe two acres over here. Mine, maybe an acre and a half. Probably, I don't know. I just judge by how big the size of our manure pit is because I didn't know how big an acre was. My dad says it's the size of our manure pit, so that's the way I'm judging it. So now I'm going to go over to the farm, show along there, and I'll uh, start the rant. So I'm at the farm right now. Um, got the 3788 still sitting there to the plow there, just there. 8870 on the manure spreader there. MXM120 doing there. Sitting there, I don't know what's to it. The awesome calves over there. Which I pretty much like my pets. They're milking cows right now, by the way. Um, I mowed this lawn here. Um, um, I don't, I don't mow this lawn here anywhere near as much as I, uh, mow my my lawn and my grandma's lawn. The grass is actually getting pretty tall here. I don't think we'll bother mowing it yet for this season. But I know this one time I cut it, my mom told me to have the deck up. It's probably a good idea. And once I did, I had the deck up tall here. For Mr. John Deere 3720, if you watch this, this is rare. I was cutting that tall grass. But I know obviously Helen could mow here. I think she's done it, she used to, but. She just lays on the couch all day now. Not that she's lazy, she has problems. She can't get up or anything and yeah. She I thought she worked her whole life, I don't know. But now she has problems. She just lays on the couch all day. And I don't want to get too in depth on it either. Got the gator sitting there. I'm just showing the yard here at the farm. That's my aunt's boyfriend's truck. My great aunt, she is what she said, but surprisingly she has a boyfriend. There's a stump there to mow around that. Pretty hard mowing here before, because those are going to be rotten apples there or something. <laughs> and my aunt, she was complaining I was mowing over apples. Why does it matter? I know my aunt, she's got chickens in there. Uh, but I think her boyfriend's, or I know her boyfriend's taking care of them. And Scott was saying she's, he is... Letting them slowly die off. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, she, she has problems. Don't want to get too in depth on her. She thinks she works all the time, and then she thinks she takes care of her chickens. And she also thinks she still feeds calves. Which, obviously, 
I do a lot of calf feeding now. She always used to. And she thinks she still takes care of her chickens, but she doesn't. Then my dad was saying um, that she probably thought she still uh, fed calves, but she knows she doesn't, which is good. But mowing around those trees there, that's a pain in the ass. It's her orchard, but no one ever does anything with it. Why bother? This here, it's a John Deere. 8530 it looks like I know there's that one 8235 no not 8235R must watch too much how farms work but there's this here they're getting rid of our cleaning water again oh that thing has that same transmission huh oh, okay. so look at it but that's not that 8360R that's what I was gonna say but uh, yeah I think that's it for the yards and everything so now let's get to that rant you guys probably been waiting for it the whole video I'll probably give you guys a time to be getting skip to it but whatever um I hope you guys watch this part so I'm gonna get to ranting now some ranting about you did when they're chopping they're hauling these stupid wagons. That's they're stupid the way we use them, but the way they use them, they're stupid. First of all, they got the thing hooked up on the back of a pull type chopper. I know they use them with self propelled too, but they even use them out. Uh, yeah, I see them more on pull types and self propelled. I know we chop right in the trucks with our claws. And when we chopped with our uh, pull type, we actually hooked this dump wagon on the back when we dumped it into the truck. The pull type we use, is, that's not that one. We got rid of it, but we still have that one. It might still work. I don't know. But, yeah, what them idiots do is they're chopping. That wagon's full. Then they're like, oh, got to unhook it. So I could use a tractor and demonstrate this, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm um, getting at. But you hook up the, you unhook the wagon. Then you hook up to another one. You're getting your ass in and out of the tractor the whole time. And, yeah. Why bother? Why the hell would you do that when you can just do use a wagon like how we do with the top off and then just uh chop into the dump wagon like we used to do instead of just using a dump truck which I'm sure you might not have money for that but why can't you just use a tractor on a wagon? Simple as that! Why have you got to waste your time getting in and out of the tractors hook it up and unhooking wagons. Seriously, there's no reason for that. Like, Iowa Dairy, Iowa Dairy Boys. There, I watched their corn silage video. Just hooking up and unhooking wagons. And I got the comment saying they could just use a use a tractor and a, and a wagon instead of just hauling wagons like crazy. What's the point of that? Yeah, I sent them a link to a video where they were using dumpling and they were using a bag and they're like, Oh, the, the bought, it costs at least 30k to buy all that stuff. I'm sure you got at least two tractors. Three if you're putting one on the blower in the silo. I know they have at least three tractors. Come on. You need three tractors anyway if you were doing it normally. Because one to haul wagons with, one on the chopper, and then one on the blower. Or one packing. Or two, if you got a self propelled that we got. Why you gotta do that? Sounds like someone's chopping right now. I know our friends at Combine for us. They were combining for another gore farm, even though they have their own combine. But we hired them to do our corn and soybeans. Usually, I know we hire different people to do our soybeans this year. Yeah. But yeah, why do you have to hook up and unhook a wagon and all that? They were saying, oh, it doesn't take that much time to hook up and unhook a wagon. Well, yeah, I'm sure it doesn't. I'll set my phone up and I'll use um, the new thing that my phone has to stand it up and I'll show you guys something. I'll just put it on the ground here. There. That work, like yeah, doesn't take that long 
just lift this up and lift this up and the pulse slides right out well we got a bungee cord on there i'll take that off so you just lift it up pull a tab and it slides right out yeah, it doesn't take that long, but still, it's too much work getting your ass in and out of the tractor the whole time. There's no reason for that bullshit. And they were saying stuff about hills and stuff. How you have the advantage of hauling wagons. Well, you just pull over. We got this one field that's like really funny. We chopped the dump wagon just fine. So. Yeah, that other wagon is back, by the way. Finally got fixed. It's got different rims on it now. I forgot one idiot. Broke it. You can guess who that was. Um. But, and then I said, they said that all that stuff costs at least 30 grand. If you have the tractors and stuff, you're fine. It costs more! Do it the way you're already doing it! You gotta buy so many wagons! Sorry. Well, one dump wagon is a hell of a lot cheaper than I like 10 of these stupid things. Like, really, all you gotta buy is that and that. If you have all the stuff set up. It's not that, it's not that complicated. It's no rocket science. I gotta cut out this swearing. If I can figure out how to beep it out, that'd be nice. I could probably do that. But... I think that's it for the rant. And then, yeah, they're always getting in and out on hook it. I know, they, I know, we used to use uh, what's it, uh, hauling wagons. Um, I know my grandpa he used to do everything with the M. He'd unhook the chopper, and he'd hook up the wagon, and then he'd hook the tractor up onto the blower, and then he'd have another PTO motor on the tractor for the wagon or whatever, something like that. But then we got the 806. Chop the 806 haul wagons with the M. I don't know what they did with the blower, but then I'm sure we hauled wagons after we got the 1466. We chopped with that, hauled wagons with the M, and had the 806 on the blower. Then the 3788 comes along. Chop with that. Probably put the 1466 on the blower. I don't know, but we chopped with that 3788. And then. Use whatever on the blower and all that. Then the 8870 comes along. And we'd use that for chopping. And then we and then I think by then we had the dump wagon and stuff. Maybe we did two and we got the 3788. I don't know, but by then we had the wagon and everything. And we used the 8870 to chop. And then we had I know we had a Mac dump truck. Not the balloon we have, but we used that. Then we packed the 1466 with the loader on it. But we haven't used the loader on that thing since. And I know we, he used to unhook it from a mixer. Use it to feed cows, but be easier with this, because then with the mixer you gotta hook everything up. He, yeah, the, the reason we bought this wagon is actually for feeding cows. That's why we bought this wagon, actually. But now we got two mixers. And I, or, I think we're, I don't know if we're still trying to sell a patch or not. Probably not. But, yeah. Then, we got a... Uh, then you get to the silo, or a bunker, or whatever. You gotta take off the PTO shaft and hook the thing up to the tractor. Then when you're done, you gotta unhook it, and all that. You're saving yourself a hell of a lot of time. And money, too. If you just, uh... Do it the way I'm explaining. It's not that complicated. But here's that new wagon. I know we haven't used it since corn silo till last year. The guy who fixes our stuff made it, modified it so it could fit on the tractors before it be like a uh, gooseneck trailer. I think it was. But, yeah, things fixed now. I think it was something wrong with hydraulics, so. And then, there's this. Now there's new wheels on it. Sorry if you guys can't see that good, but. I'm done ranting now. But obviously me and Iowa Dairy Boys don't get along. And I started driver's ed, by the way, and we learned about signs. And I know it's like, oh, what's the sign? And I know one was up like that and one was down. I know down one's yield. And I was saying, oh, I think that's a slow moving vehicle sign. I said I thought it was, but apparently I was right. I learned about that shit in tractor safety. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will uh, see you guys later. 
So before I end the video, I'm going to say that um, actually when I was a little kid, I actually was complaining about us using dump wagons and stuff. But now I'm older and smarter and I know that this way is better. And my next rant videos, I'm not going to be yelling or swearing. I'll try to minimize that. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will uh, see you later.